Hey, welcome back to Oddie's Angling TV. Today we're going to have a look at this. This is the Fox Super Broly system. Now, if you're a regular viewer of my channel, um, we did a review, oh, a long time ago, many, many videos ago of the Fox Super Broly. And to be honest with you, uh, I actually fell in love with the system. I thought it was a brilliant piece of kit. But one thing I did want is to have something that would protect me a little bit more from the elements if I was staying a little bit longer than just an, a quick overnighter. And uh, so when Fox brought out the Fox Super System, to be honest with you, I thought it ticked all the boxes. Now I know I could have probably have gone for the Fox Super Broly overwrap, which would have gone over the old, the old Broly, um, but I thought the system was a little bit more versatile and would offer me an, an, a few more options. So basically what you have is the exact same thing. Uh, the frame itself, the actual Broly part is exactly the same as the original Super Broly, but the fabric here comes a little bit more in uh, on, this, on the actual system here, so to allow for the actual zipping on of the front panels. Now, uh, basically let's go through a few of the things that it's supplied with. Now, number one, it comes with the actual, um, the brolly part itself. It comes with two sets of uh, storm sticks, 236 inch and 224 inches. Uh, it comes with the tensioning pole here at the front, which is made of fiberglass. And it also then comes with um, the actual mozzie mesh um, front panel here, which you can see, and also it comes with a, a proper full waterproof infill panel as well. And then it comes with two optional doors. One is the actual mozzie door, and the other one is uh, a clear panel. And um, that gives you a couple of extra options when you're fishing with the full system as a waterproof system. Now, as I said, the main frame is actually the same as the actual Broly. It features the um, very strong 8mm fiberglass poles, and they connect to the STS, which is the self-tensioning system hub, which, and that's a very, very unique design. And what that does, it allows the hub to sit as close to the actual Broly itself, which will maximize headroom inside. And it gives you a much more capacious area inside. And I'm actually using this today, I'm in session. And what I've got inside here is an Avid Respi X bed chair, which is a, it's a massive bed chair. It's really, really big. And, um, even with that inside, there's still plenty of room for me to put all my other bits and pieces in and have my, you know, a, a desirable bit of leg room. And just to prove a point, I'm sitting inside the bivvy now, and uh, as I said, I have plenty of room. So what makes this so different from the actual Broly is that they had to redesign the front, and what they did is they, they recessed the actual zip material, so where you're actually gonna zip in your infills, it was recessed back here to allow for a little porch area, which I think is quite dinky, quite nice. It means that if it is raining, when it hits, it's not gonna drip straight in. And also you have at the front, the piping that goes all the way around, way around the whole front uh, of the actual system, which allows it drain off down the sides rather than continuously dripping on top of you. This, as I said, is the mozzie system here at the front. This is zipped in, and the reason why I wanted to use this, I wanted maximum visibility on the lake, but at night the mozzies are biting. I'm here for a couple of nights, so I wanted a little, and I know there's no forecast of rain, so I wanted something that would give me ultimate visibility without being bitten to pieces in the evening and that's what this allows for. It's great to see through when you're sitting back in the bivvy, the whole lake is visible even with the door when it's down, and the door is just caught up here via these two little elasticated loops and hooks that they just hook on. And um, if it was gonna be a little bit more rainy, you could in, indeed put on the actual um, full weather system uh, at the front, which is a very nice piece of kit. Uh, what that does allow you is, number one, you can have everything battened down so it's fully waterproof and the full door down. Or you can peel back the two side vents, which you allow for some vozzy, uh, mozzie nets there uh, to allow more air through. And also then you can have the full door rolled up or taken off so that you can have just a mozzie net here at the front. They also supply a clear window, which will allow you um, Velcro it on to the front there, so that if you were in a situation where you again wanted to keep um, maximum visibility, but the rain was really hammering down, 
you could have the side panels uh, back, back as normal so they're waterproof and then have the waterproof door but still being able to see out. Nice little feature. This is one seriously strong piece of kit in bad weather. Um, I've been out in some pretty rough winds and I have to say, unlike my Armadillo style Aqua Bivy that I have, I have the Armo Mark I and I've had it for years. Great piece of kit, but it does get buffeted around and hit by the winds. Uh, the great thing about this one is because of the way it's designed, the wind tends to hit it and this is ultra rigid. When you've all the storm poles pegging and everything in, it really doesn't move or shift too much in the strongest of the winds and the wind tends to just zip over the top of it. It's quite aerodynamic. If the wind is going to get up really, really heavy, you have the option of using the pegging points all the way around here at the front to lower it right down so you don't have that issue of uh, it being very, very high up and hitting the wind. It becomes again a lot more aerodynamic. Um, the other thing about what makes this so stable is four of the actual ribs touch the ground and are pegging points. So that again keeps this really, really stable. Typically on the internet, you'll get all types of uh, conversations happening about people who have bought bits of tackle and they don't get on with certain things. One thing I have noticed, there has been a bit of a, uh, uh, not a backlash, but there have been comments made by anglers where they haven't got on with this system and they found that the material is very, very weak. Now, uh, some people have found that certain weak areas are where this tensioning pole comes in here at the front, there are two little rubber holes and the actual uh, rods thread through and what happens is then they tension down and they hook down into the very bottom part and people have found that these have ripped. Now, again, it's, this whole area has been very, very heavily reinforced around the rubber part where it comes in. That's not to say it won't go, but you've got to make sure that when you're putting up this bivy, they've used a very, very light fabric, a really light fabric, and that's to keep the weight down. And the reason being is they want anglers to be able to carry this thing uh, any distance that they're, they're fishing, you know, to. So by using a light fabric, you're always going to have to be aware where you, you have to be aware where you're going to put pitch it up. You can't stick it into a bank of of brambles or something because there is a chance that the brambles will tear the fabric. So you've got to be a little bit observant of how you're going to maintain it, look after it. Packing up and putting up are the two areas where you've got to take your time, don't rush it, and make sure you have everything in place before you start tensioning so that you don't put undue pressure on a section. And it's the same with any, any piece of fishing equipment, you've got to look after it. That said, I've used this for uh, the best part of seven or eight months now in some pretty vile weather. I've not had any failures, any problems. It's gone up, gone down perfectly, but then again, I look after it. Now, at the back of where the hub is on the outside, they've put in this kind of rubberized circular piece, and that's designed primarily so that when you're folding it away, most people tend to put it nose down into the ground to tie it all up. And you don't really want to do that. You want to be laying it down on the ground to do that. Because what happens is if you pierce that, it's, you're obviously going to make a, a weak spot where rainwater will get in. There is a neoprene sock that that actually, when, once the, 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 the actual umbrella system is taken down and rolled up, there's a neoprene sock that'll actually go on the top to protect the top as well. And then you also then can use the, uh, the main bag that it comes in to keep all your bits and pieces in. Ground sheet comes as standard and as do the pegs. The pegs are nice and strong, typical fox pegs. And um, as I said, comes with the two front infill panels or if you don't want to use them, you can just use it as a brolly system. It really is a cracking piece of kit. There's not really much more I can say about it. I've used it, as I said, in some really inclement rough weather. It's not leaked and it's worked fine. The one thing, the fabric is very light and on a bright sunny day or on a bright evening, uh, especially when the sun comes up around 4 a.m. in the summertime, half four in the morning, the light shines through this. Unlike a lot of the darker bivvies that are out there where you know it tends to be quite dark inside, this is quite you know illuminated inside. That can work for you or against you. If you're a heavy sleeper, you'll be fine. If you're someone who wakes up a lot, it could go against you. It's something to be aware of. But as I said, um, I'm very happy with this uh, as a fishing um, shelter. Uh, it, it ticks all the boxes. It's quick, it's easy, it's light. It does everything it's meant to do. And I suggest you check it out. Now I bought this in Maine Irish Angling. It cost me 365 euros. And uh, I think you get a whole lot of bivy for the money. Uh, it's a cracking piece of kit. 
anybody I know who's gone and bought one have raved about it. It's, they also have brought out a new version. This is a 60 inch oval kind of system. They brought out a new 50 inch compact version. And the 50 inch compact version has, um, it's just got a little bit, uh, it's a smaller footprint, but it also has then um, on the back of it, it has two vent panels which you can unzip and, and pull open to allow the, and they're, they're obviously mozzie mesh style vents, and that allows the airflow to come through, especially if you're fishing in foreign climates where you're getting high daytime temperatures, you just want a lot more air circulating through. Initially, when I saw that being implemented in the system, I thought, yeah, but it's a front open system. You don't really, I mean, if it's that hot, you don't just unzip, you just unzip everything and you, you don't have any problems. I've not used it, so I can't actually say whether it's a worthwhile thing, but Fox have deemed it necessary to put on it, and I'm sure for some people, it'll be a great little feature. Okay, when you're packing away, you're gonna have to remember to do one thing. You need to screw in this center boss. This makes life easy for putting it down. Um, most of these kind of umbrella systems come with it, and there's a little cap that you uh, can screw on and screw off. You just then locate it on the bottom of the pole so it doesn't get lost. Uh, again, very well thought out from Fox, nice and simple. And uh, it just then, as I say, screws into the center boss and it just makes taking the system down a fraction easier. Now, here's the bit that sometimes if you're in a hurry, you'll forget about. You're gonna take out your, your storm poles and remember I'm doing this in reverse so you're seeing this system come down but if you were putting it up you're just going to reverse what you're watching now so as I say you're going to just take out all your storm poles and then you're going to remove the infill panel here so now, if, if you want, you can actually leave the infill on and pack the whole umbrella away in its hold all as one piece. So that when you're taking it back out, you don't have to worry about um, not having the front on, especially if it's going to start lashing. And most of the time, if I'm using the main weatherproof system at the front, the weatherproof infill, then that's exactly what I do. It does make it slightly bulkier to pack away, but you can do it, it's not a problem. It's probably advisable to take off the infill anyway. And as I said, there's your super rolly just back in position. Very, very simple. So we're gonna continue on and just take all the pegs out. Now, before you do anything else, you're going to unclip the ground sheet. And this is where you can go a bit Pete Tong for people. They forget that they have the tensioning pole in. You've got to take that out. Otherwise, you're going to run into trouble. Now these can be a little bit awkward at first and then you just gently remember this is a known weak point where it threads through the actual canopy and when you, these are obviously jointed poles and on the joint when that's coming through you've got to just gently tease it through so it comes out there's the joint there these then just fold over <coughs> same with the other side Gently just tease it through till it gets to the joint. Make sure the joint comes out and it's not caught up. And job is done. Now you have another small pole here. This is the 24 inch pole, storm pole. I always leave these on. And these actually have a little clip that allows them clip actually back up onto the rib of the umbrella. So, uh, 
you can just then leave them in situ. And then it's a case of just bringing down the umbrella. Take out all the material so it's down the very bottom so it doesn't bunch up. Now this is the neoprene sock I was telling you about. This is most important before you do anything else. You put this on. And that just protects the very hub of the actual umbrella. Comes with two straps. And again, you just make sure all your material is nicely folded. And then back on itself. Take the bottom strap. And that is your umbrella done. So I'll move that to the side. I'll put the ground sheet, give it a good shake. and put that on the ground. Put your umbrella on top. Your fiberglass rods have their own pouch. This is the, uh, the fully weatherproof door or infill. And that's the clear door that you can put on it if you should so want. Take your, your mozzie mesh. Now, the Super Broly system comes with its own carry bag. It's perfect, absolutely fine, fits everything. But Fox also do another thing called the Fox Royale Broly Carryall which I'm using here. And it's designed to take in its entirety the full system of the umbrella. But where it scores over the other one, the actual one that it comes with, it has an outside pouch for putting bits and pieces, landing at heads or, you know, waistlings that I carry. Uh, also, you can even fit in it your rods, etc. And the great thing is you're able to then put in all your bits and pieces. The way it zips up is much easier to use than say the actual bag it comes with. The bag it comes with it's kind of one of those things that you have to kind of thread everything down. Whereas this it's just a matter of putting everything in and then zipping it up as you go. Now what I would suggest is always have the hub at the top. It makes it just easier uh, to put pack away and uh, 
the moment I have everything in there, ground sheet and all my bits and pieces. Now some people will actually use the, uh, the carry-all as well to uh, put their away and then put the whole system in here in one piece. I don't see the point of that because this packs away very neatly and don't forget you chew up the storm poles put your left to the side you can gently ease them down always remember rookie mistake just being made there never put the points in first and that's it this then zips up to the top it has a lid that goes all the way around, like so. Then you have, basically, a couple of tension straps here that you can load down the bottom as well. And it comes with a nice padded, um, nice padded strap. I'll move in a little bit more so you can see that. Has a nice padded strap. You can see the big pocket here at the bottom for putting in all your bits and pieces. This is retailing at 39 euros. Uh, it, as I said, makes for a much more easy and compact pack away. Uh, the other one is a little bit more fiddly, a little bit tighter, especially with all the bits and pieces that go on the system. This makes life just so much more simple. 39 euros. You get the pouch at the side, which allows you to put in your waist slings, your landing nets, anything, your retention slings. And uh, it's got a nice neoprene handle here, a very comfy shoulder strap. And as I said, it's more luxurious in size. So it's an easy pack down. Most people who have a system like this will know with the ground sheet and all the bits and pieces, it can be a little bit more awkward to fit into the original sleeve that it comes with. It's well worth the investment. I think this is a great piece of kit, brilliantly made, very sturdy, and just brings it all together. The other thing is a lot of people do is they tend to travel with their pegs kept separately. Um, Fox have their own little bag here that I haven't loaded the pegs away in. But one thing that I will recommend you do is always, always keep all your pegs together in with the actual system because I've arrived at lakes where I have my system and the bag of where I keep all my pegs, I've left at home. Um, you're actually just much better off keeping everything together. It's just not worth the hassle of arriving on a lake and not knowing whether you can actually put up your system or not because you've forgotten a bag. So if you have all your pegs together, kept in the top, you know that once you take this bag, you're good to go, your home is set. So that's been a look at the Fox Super Broly system and also a quick look at what is arguably a great addition to it, the Fox Royale Broly Carryall. Available at your nearest Fox retailer or stockist. But failing that, if you're in Ireland, check out Main Irish Angling and uh, these can be uh, acquired or bought uh, from the uh, retailer there. Um, all in all, as I said, a pucker piece of kit. It's my go-to system now and uh, I can't see myself changing from it for a long, long time.